Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to put together two of the most popular EV stocks today. I want to answer which is the better EV stock for 2024. Is it Tesla or is it NEO? That's an interesting question I've been getting a lot of in my comments section of some of my videos. So I wanted to go ahead and answer that question in this video. I'm going to compare the two across several financial metrics, including valuation, to come up with that answer. So let's jump right into it. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. The first thing I wanted to look at comparing Tesla and NEO is on quarterly revenue growth. But before we look at quarterly revenue growth, let's take a look at the total addressable market opportunity for electric vehicles. Total spending on electric vehicles reached $539 billion in 2022. That figure is estimated to reach $907 billion worldwide in 2028. Industry-wide, this spending is supported by trillions in government incentives to support the transition to cleaner energy consumption. Additionally, governments worldwide to varying degrees are mandating manufacturers to produce a larger percentage of electric vehicles. Importantly, investors should be aware that without these government incentives, the growth of the EV industry would not be nearly as robust. After all, governments have been known to change their mind, to extend deadlines, and remove mandates altogether. Still, within this backdrop of incentives in play, the companies that are likely to benefit from the expected growth are Tesla, Rivian, NEO, and Lucid Motors. It remains to be seen if legacy automakers like Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis will ultimately benefit from this transition. With that being said, let's look at who is gaining more of that market. Well, you can say that they're in two separate markets, actually, because NEO is primarily in China, and Tesla, while it does make sales in China, is primarily in the United States. Still, you can see similar growth rates going back to July of 2021. NEO exploded on the scene, right, when it, it's a newer uh, startup, and it growth rates slowed down and now it's on par with Tesla. They've been given, going back and forth here for the last couple of quarters. In the most recent quarter, NEO was ahead at 38.8% in revenue growth, while Tesla grew only 8.84%. But remember, Tesla had planned shutdowns in its manufacturing facility to upgrade some of their production capabilities. Also important to remember, Neo and Tesla taking different strategies. Tesla has said they're willing to cut prices and they have cut prices several times in 2023 to gain market share. Neo, meanwhile, in its latest quarterly update, management said, we're not going to participate in that price war. We're just going to produce our vehicles and sell them at the price that we intend to sell them at, and we're not going to participate in the price war. Interesting difference in strategy, and 2024 is going to show us a little bit better which one works, which strategy is working better. We're going to get some more insight after 2024 if they both sustain the same momentum, the same strategy, I should say. The next thing I wanted to compare these two on is operating profit margin. And Tesla is clearly ahead here with an 11.22 operating profit margin compared to negative 41% for NEO. NEO had been making excellent progress, improving and getting closer to profitability before taking a backward turn and only recently turning it around negative 41.92%. In its latest quarter, NEO generated a double-digit vehicle margin while telling investors that they're going to produce an even better vehicle margin in the next quarter. On the flip side, Tesla's vehicle margin or gross profit margin, it's the comparative statistic, has been heading downward because of the price cuts. So the price cuts are leading Tesla's profit margins lower, while the sustainment of the no price cutting strategy has helped NEO's profit margin improve. And we'll see more of that in 2024. 
But let's look at the estimates for 2024. For Tesla, the consensus estimate is that it will grow revenue by 20.8% in fiscal year 2024, while earnings per share will grow by 21.5%. That will be a welcome sign for investors who are seeing earnings per share fall by nearly 23% in fiscal 2023 for Tesla. For 2025, things are expected to accelerate for Tesla with revenue growing 22% and earnings per share growing 30%. That would be impressive to be sure. For Neo, the consensus estimate is that revenue will grow by 40% ahead of what Tesla will grow at in 2024 and earnings per share growth will come in at negative 43%. Meanwhile, in 2025, revenue growth will maintain at 40%, while earnings per share growth will decrease by 63%. So these negative figures are a bit misinformative for NEO. Let's take a look at the absolute, the actual numbers. So for 2023, NEO is going to lose $10.35 in earnings per share. That's going to improve to $5.89 in 2024, which is going to improve to $2.16 in 2025. So NEO is expected to make big steps forward in reducing the losses on the bottom line. Nevertheless, they are expected to lose money on the bottom line for all of 2024 and all of 2025. So it's still a long ways away before NEO becomes profitable, if it ever becomes profitable on the bottom line, while Tesla has generated profitability and continues to generate strong profitability with strong expected growth in 2024 and 2025. So clearly Tesla has the better prospects in terms of profitability, while NEO has the better prospects in terms of revenue growth. But if you ask me, I'd prefer better profitability instead of better revenue growth. So I wanted to take a look at the balance sheet and compare these two on their balance sheet, Tesla, with $26 billion in cash and short-term investments, while NEO has $5.339 billion in cash and short-term investments. Tesla with nearly five times as much cash as NEO. While they have similar amounts of debt, this is their total long-term debt. Tesla with $3.7 billion in long-term debt. NEO with $3 billion in long-term debt. So in proportion, Tesla's long-term debt looks better than NEO because Tesla has more cash to offset its long-term debt while NEO has less cash to offset its long-term debt. If NEO wanted to pay off its long-term debt, it would be left with less than or roughly $2 billion, while if Tesla paid down all of its long-term debt, it would still have roughly $23 billion in cash left. So finally, I wanted to compare these two on valuation and Tesla not surprisingly, is the more expensive stock trading at a forward price to sales of 6.7 compared to NEO at a forward price to sales of 1.3. But given the metrics that we looked at, Tesla had the better operating profit margin, it had better balance sheet, it had better profit expectations. And so I feel that Tesla has earned this premium valuation. You could argue whether the spread is too much or not enough. But I would say if I was to choose between Tesla or NEO for 2024, I would pick Tesla as the better EV stock to buy for 2024. If you liked the video you just saw and you want to see more just like it, please subscribe to the channel. I can't keep this channel free without the support of viewers like you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you and I appreciate your support.